Hello everybody and welcome to another showcase. In today's showcase, we will, as by the title, that doesn't make any sense, uh, be looking at all of my cancelled cars slash prototypes, uh, meaning all eight of my cancelled cars plus the two prototypes I own. Um, and I'm about to get another one, which is pretty cool. Um, but we'll talk a little bit more about that um, later. Um, a few of these cars have made appearances previously, but uh, there's nine right here, uh, and only three of them have really popped up in some of my recent videos. So you're about to see six new cars, and um, all of them have been shown in videos before, uh, but some of them are old. Um, but we have never taken like a real good look at this car. Actually, yeah, we have. Uh, kind of my memory blanked out there for a second. Um, in my video where I took a, took a look at all of my multi-pack exclusives, uh, this guy was in that video, and, uh, this is the only Bobby Row Testa that I own, being the Cosmic Cyber Cars 3 stock car. And you can see, uh, this guy's a prototype, because if you look on the very, very bottom, underneath his mouth, you can see a prototype code reading 045, and it's in a pretty cool font as well. And I, uh, don't mind it that much. Um, just because it's like a, um, it's really, it really blends in. And unless you're like really looking for it, uh, it's kind of hard to see. Next up we have another one that I, I have previously shown. This is, um, oh yeah, what's his name? Steel Blue Jackson Storm. Uh, now, uh, as I have previously mentioned, I have two, uh, Steel Blue Jackson Storms. This is a prototype version. This one has the prototype code up there, uh, 080. It also has no decals on the spoiler. And it also has unpainted rims, um, although it does have painted tires, which is a bit odd. Um, on the regular version, the store version, uh, which I also own, it has all of that stuff minus the uh, prototype code. Here we have the final one that I think will kind of get the boringer ones out of the way. This is the Mood Springs Cab. Um, he was supposed to be released in 2017, along with the Shifty Drug Cab, and both were uh, cancelled with the release of Cars 3. And uh, that was the biggest waste um, of a series of a line I've ever seen. Um, uh, there is only six cars. And from what I've heard uh, about the ones that were scheduled to come out, the only one that was new was CB, uh, of course being the Transbury Juice uh, semi at the time. Uh, and he was, he actually did get released, luckily. Although it wouldn't, I don't know if it would have made too big of a difference as he was re-released in 2019 um, or around that time. Uh, the only reason I decided to pick this guy up is because he actually has a different expression than the normal one. Um, I don't have the normal way to compare him to. I used to, but I don't have Um, kind of beat up since I'm assuming the seller had probably owned this guy for a while. Um, and his, his eyes are really similar to the one that was released, but the mouth is actually different. Uh, the one on the hauler is closed, and the one here is open. You can see like his tongue on that, so I think that's a pretty cool, um, little thing. Uh, which is what the reason that I bought him, or uh, I asked to get him, uh, I got it for Christmas, uh, and not the Shifty Drug uh, cab, which still looks cool, but it is pretty much the same as the version on the hauler, um, apart from this part on the back not having a trailer hitch, which I actually find very annoying, because I wanted to make like a custom uh, out of CB when I first got him, but I couldn't due to the, um, it not having a trailer hitch. And here we have the the final one that I've actually uh, shown recently. This is Thomasville Darren Ledfoot. Uh, he's supposed to be somebody. I forgot his name. I don't know if he has a name. Uh, but this is the Thomasville version of Darren Ledfoot. Um, with the kind of red circle, kind of looking like the Japanese flag. And uh, I do know that um, the, uh, the car he's modeled after did appear in the movie. I've seen him in some of the flashback scenes, but this guy, I got him from the Chinese eBay sellers back when uh, I was like one of the first people to order him 
for forty dollars. And he was, uh, as I mentioned in the recent video I did on all the multi pack exclusives, where, where which is where this guy also appeared. Uh, he was supposed to be released in the Thomas L five pack. However, uh, that never came out. You can see that he's not in the best condition either. You have like some weird mark right there. And some of the decals are messed up over there. And, but it also does have a prototype code, 002. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what all the prototype codes stand for. Maybe this is like the second prototype they made. Or maybe this one's like the 80th, 45th, so on. Um, I mean, I don't really know. There is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of the cars on this list have, actually no, it's not right. Five of the cars on this list uh, have prototype code. Well, wait, how many is there? There's, oh yeah, 10. So that will be uh, six that have the prototype codes um, on them. The, um, that being Bobby Road Testa, Steel Blue Jackson Storm, Thomas Old Darren, and three more cars. We're about to get through all three of them. Um, pretty cool. I like him, I like his expression. I'm a big fan of eyes. I mean, it looks the exact same as the normal Thomas Hill eyes, or, excuse me, Darren Ledfoot eyes. Uh, but the way that the eyes just blend in with, like, the rest of it, I don't know why, but whenever they do that, I'm just a huge fan of it because it looks so, so good. We have another one that I've kind of uh, glossed over before. This is Bunny Lightning McQueen. Uh, he was supposed to be the return of the Easter series in uh, 2017, but I believe he was also canceled because, due to the Cars 3 line, although maybe they were planning on bringing them back after the Cars 3 line, but they were canceled for some reason. I don't know. I'm assuming it's the first one. Um, this is a really odd release because it's the um, Cars 3 model McQueen. Uh, Cars 3 model is in... Uh, the body it has, the regular Cars 1 McQueen has, um, a bunch of, it won't, it, not a bunch of, it's wider, um, but this one is the Cars 3 model, which is a lot skinnier, and, um, I believe it's also a different, um, paint job than the Cars 3 version. I can go and take it out over here, at the cases, and... Yeah, it's much different than the other one. It almost looks like a, uh, and it actually really reminds me of the Hudson Hornet, because actually it is. I'm pretty sure that's the exact same um, mo uh, paint job as the, what's his name? Fabulous H Hudson Hornet, Lightning McQueen. Uh, it's the longest name that uh, there is. I'm gonna try to get him out over here. Um, but yeah, you can see with this, actually, yeah, uh, this is just the one I grabbed because uh, I wasn't paying attention. But you can see it's the exact same paint job or a super similar paint job to the Hudson Hornet Lightning Queen. That's the version with no tires released in 2016, I believe. So we'll put that back and we should get on with the next car. The next car also being this little car. Uh, oh, and a cool little fact about this guy. Um, apart from his bunny, he's looking super cool. Uh, a lot of the, um, Bunny McQueens that were, uh, sent out, uh, from eBay, uh, were missing, uh, the decals on the tires. Luckily for me, there was decals on the tires, but unfortunately for me, the entire back has no decals. Uh, which sucks, but it's also cool to have another prototype. You also have a prototype code on top. 341. I'm guessing that um, there isn't uh, 341 of these guys like floating around. Uh, but maybe they did make them. I'm, I don't know what the prototype codes stand for, and I'm not sure if there's anyone outside of Mattel that really does. Uh, maybe they leaked them at some point, but uh, it's. Or at least I am not able to tell. Here we have Emily Engine. Um, Emily Engine uh, appeared at the Cotter Pin in Cars 3. Um, and she was supposed to be a Super Chase last year in 2019, but for some reason she never came out and was cancelled. Uh, even if she does get released, this is 
uh, a rare, this is still a super rare piece, because not only is it made in China, but it also has a prototype code up here, which is barely visible. I've seen people that, like, wipe it off, and it just, just hurts my soul to see people um, destroying the prototype code, um, or not destroying, like, erasing it with polish. I mean, this really sucks. It's barely even visible. And it doesn't make that much of a difference. Even unless you're, like, looking for it, you won't notice it. Uh, anyways, getting on with Emily herself. Looks pretty cool. Has uh, the typical rust that a lot of the uh, Carter Pin patrons do have. Um, the black wheels also look nice. Whenever a car has black wheels, I'm a big fan of it. It just looks really good. Uh, I'm not sure why, but it's probably, like, the color combination going together. Uh, something along the lines of that. Um, and I don't doubt that she would actually be re-released soon, although um, that does kind of contradict my uh, views on another car that we'll get to in a second, uh, or a few more. Um, a few more cars. We have one more car to get through, then we'll get to that car that I'm referring to. But um, even though she was scheduled to be a Super Chase, I don't, I don't think uh, that it'll be long before we do end up getting her. Uh, since she was a pretty prominent um, Cardiffin patron, like more visible than Vanden Kerr or Bill Revs. Uh, same thing with the uh, the teal and white old timer there. Uh, Emily Engine and uh, Andrew Vrumann and that teal old timer were the most um, they were the most seeable, at least in my opinion. And yet, only one of them has been released so far, and one of them is cancelled. Um. A uh, pretty cool car. This is the first character on this list. New character. Um, uh, this is the first cancelled character. Um, well, technically this is a different character, but um, he was released, so that doesn't count. We have three of them on this list, which I'm very happy uh, about that. Or we're not going to uh, look at the characters next. going to look at Cars 3 Brent Mustang Burger. Uh, he was scheduled to appear in the movie, apparently, and uh, he never made it into the movie for some reason, I'm not sure why. Um, but uh, in like August of last year, some of these leaks from China, and I was able to get this guy for $20. Um, actually, I was able to get two for $20 total. Uh, I ordered one, uh, and it came with this part of the antenna, or headset missing rather. Uh, so I we contacted the seller if we could get another one, and uh, he sent me this one for free, uh, which is in good condition apart from like a few uh, chips here and there. But it doesn't mind me since the other one also had uh, some chips, and I, I sold that one off eBay, uh, and it went to another collector uh, and also another moderator on the community, which I'm the Tabatop community, which I'm uh, happy to report. It's not in the hands of like some kid uh, who are just gonna smash it up. Um, his expression, uh, like I previously mentioned, for, like, Thomas Darren blends together really well. And, um, the only major difference between, uh, him and the other version of, uh, Cars 3, or, uh, it's not, the Cars 2 version of Brent Mustangberger is that, he, uh, his headset, it has the antenna, and it's yellow. Uh, and then, of course, you have the, um, different expression. And he does not, oh yeah, he does have a prototype code. Right there. I don't know if you can see that, but it does say 166 right there, uh, where I'm trying to get it to focus right now. It says 166. It's barely visible. It's a lot more visible on the one that I uh, sold off. So, um, the dude who wiped off the uh, the code on Emily Engine, uh, would you wipe it off in this one? I want to know, because it almost looks like it's engraved into it. It blends in so well. Um, it might be. Uh, well, who knows. Here we have another uh, variant, but this was the first ever canceled car that I got, and it was also for $40, and it's the, actually, no, that's not true, is it? Uh, this is Outback Miles Axelrod. I got him back in 2016, before he was canceled. Uh, I was in Chicago, Illinois, and I saw it, and was like, oh, well, that's, that's going to be a super chase, and I knew that, because it was going to be a super chase, uh, where that's what it was scheduled to be, and I knew that at the time, so I was like, oh, yeah. Super Chase for $40. Uh, why not? We, why don't I just buy it right now? 
Uh, so I did, and it came, and then a few months later, it turns out that it ended up being cancelled. Uh, so I got pretty lucky with this guy. This is the only one uh, who I bought without it, without knowing that it was a cancelled die cast. Um, his expression is really odd. Um, and, yeah, but it actually does match the movie, and his color actually matches the movie. I uh, can't recall from my memory right now uh, if the uh, the version that um, the other mile the color rather that the other Miles X rods are in uh, matches uh, what he appeared like in the movie. You can see there's a major difference between the two, and um, uh, I know he certainly appeared in the scene where. This guy appeared for like two seconds. Uh, he definitely had that expression, and he definitely had um, that paint color. But uh, who knows? It still looks pretty similar, no matter what. Uh, you can see he has a bunch of like oil cans. I think those are. Has a spare tire. Has a large antenna on the back. And on the roof, you can see he has all of his cargo. Uh, some more extra tires. Some luggage. I'm not sure how he would like open it or whatever other when the car's movie uh, you can actually see Leroy traffic as he exits the highway he like throws the mattress off somehow uh, it's a cool little easter egg if you're um, looking pretty closely at the movie going back to what I was saying about Emily Engine uh, I actually don't think this guy would get re-released because he was a super chase but um, I don't know maybe things change who knows uh, I'd feel like this guy would be a lot rarer um, but, uh, who knows. Maybe they'll re-release it, although everyone seems to think that they're re-releasing it, but in my opinion, this guy would be on their low-priority list, and someone like Emily Engine um, would be on their high-priority list. Although, if they cancel it, it wasn't on their high-priority list, apart from a few cases, such as Cone Teeth Mater, who was in this case with his Super Chase Outback Miles Axelrod, but... Uh, he was actually cancelled uh, as well in 2016, and then he was re-released in uh, 2019. Uh, that case was cancelled for some reason. I'm not sure why. It wasn't like the Cars 3 line or anything. They just randomly cancelled this case. Um, but uh, I guess I can be one of the few people who says that I have completed the entire uh, 2016 Super Chicks line. That was the only year that I found a Super Chase in stores, being duct tape mater. Here we have the only guy on this list that doesn't have like an official name. This is the two-tone blue car, uh, period in the Radiator Springs flashback scene. There's like a little dent in his hood up here, uh, and unfortunately he came like that, which uh, uh, sucks me big time, but it doesn't bother me a whole lot since I'm not really focusing on that. I'm more focusing on this guy's beautiful, like, periwinkle color, along with this light blue color. Um, I used in my la last video uh, for a short little bit when I was comparing him to Derek Decal Dobbs, and as I said, he is probably the closest of all the other old-timers uh, to Derek. His expression is kind of odd. Uh, he's like kind of stirring straight forward, although you never see his expression in the actual movie. He's uh, driving away kind of, uh, I th I'd say the angle is close to this. And uh, it actually does appear later in the movie in another part of the flashback scene, but I don't know if it's like officially the two-tone blue car or not. Uh, the colors look a little bit different, but it's, it's the same model with the same blue-ish colors. Um, I don't know, but I'm also a big fan of this guy. I paid... $110 for him back in 2018 uh, So this was the most I paid for a canceled car um, The other ones I I paid like $40 for um, Apart from the ones I got from a gift although even with the ones I got for gifts they were $70 at most um, I've only spent $40 on canceled cars plus a 20 um, a lot, lots of other random things. I like this guy's expression too. I mean, even though I just said it, it's a bit odd, this kind of creepy. But I'd say it probably matches what he would have looked like in the movie. And you have these weird little tail fins to uh, normal uh, color. What's it called? Um, transformations? I don't know. Trans? I don't know. Um. Finally, the very last car on this list, that will be a Mura Revsk.
got him back in 2017. Um, and I did do a review on him when I got him, but uh, please don't watch that. Uh, it's not my proudest voice. Um, I got this guy in 2017 for $40. Uh, $40 keeps on popping up. Uh, and this uh, guy, I didn't know he was canceled. Um, so, I'm um, also a big fan of his expression. It's just wild. You have, like, the white, which is what most of his body is, and you have the black roof. Uh, you have a couple chips from back when I got him. But then you have, like, the gray eyes, and it's, um, I, I don't know, it's odd. His camera is black, which is different from the other ones, which, uh, the, all the other cameras are somewhat of a dark gray. And uh, his camera, like, shape is actually different from all the other ones. It's a lot compact and square and looks all weird. I actually never tried to remove the camera off of this guy. Um, and I probably shouldn't do that in case it is attached. I, uh, there is a picture of him in package, which I was actually looking at, at that earlier today. Um, and uh, I'm not sure if he had... I'm, I'll have to go back and look since it's a really small photo. I don't remember if he had the camera attached. I mean, actually... Is it a he or a she? I mean, Amara is, like, I could be both. I believe it's named after a Pixar employee, which is a female, but, um, I, I don't know. I've been referring to Amara as a he this whole time, but, uh, maybe, um, maybe Amara is a female. I mean, it definitely seems like more of a female name, um, but, who knows, uh, it, you can't really tell because they're cars. They're literally cars. Um, these are the three highlights, at least in my opinion, and the, the rest are also cool, but, uh, they're not as cool. And these, uh, <laughs> these are the three I had, 2016, 2017, 2018, and then the rest of them, uh, all 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of them were all in 2019. And this guy is probably my favorite all in them, though, just because of his expression, although, uh, Emily also is... A pretty cool car since she is a uh, a whole new character. Like these two guys are here, the uh, the only separate characters we got. We have Emily Engine, Amara Revsk, and the two Tom Blue car, which um, I don't know what uh, I should name him. Maybe we'll call him Edward. Let's call him Edward. I like that Edward. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, fun to show you guys these. Oh yeah, and going back to the very beginning of this video, I should be getting another prototype soon. Um, that's a, as a, I mean, uh, I just know that it was, if it's been bought for me, um, it was also, like, a cheap, for, guess what, it costed $40, yet again. Um, I didn't pay for it again, because it's gonna be a gift. Um, but I, I, I guess I'll make a video on it when it comes out, since it's, somewhat interesting for those who care and I guess I can compare it to uh, the normal version of the diecast the two normal versions of the diecast uh, but anyways enough about that uh, it's time to end this video we're about to hit 23 and a half minutes I hope you guys enjoyed it today I did showing off all these um, all the super prized cars that I have in my collection um, especially these three right here um, it was been fun and I'll see you all in the next video Goodbye.